What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video. We are back with another video. As you guys see where I'm at, we are back in the kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a nice little snack. Something that you can eat. and even be a meal, man. You know, it's some boiled peanuts. As y'all see in the description below, we're going to show y'all how to make the best boiled peanuts there is. Before I even get started, I know y'all see my shirt, man. I want to shout out one of my coworkers, Mr. Eric, I'm not going to put his last name on here, you know, because he might got them boys looking for him. I'm just playing, Mr. Eric. Yeah, man, if y'all like this shirt, I'm going to put a link to his information down in the description. So, yeah, you guys go check him out, man. He do some good work. Yeah, so we're going to start out with onions. Um, this is a big part of my boy Peanuts. Y'all see who came to join once he seen them lights came on. And yeah, we also bought this ring light. <clears throat> Man, this ring light has changed my life for the better. It works. I, uh, I looked up this YouTuber, uh, Eva Marie. She did a real great job of, um, you know, giving a review on this light. And I liked her video so much, I bought me a ring light. <laughs> so, yeah, go check her channel out too. It's called Eva Marie. Uh, she do a real good job. It's one of my, one of my best friends from high school. It's, it's his girlfriend. So you single fellas out there do not try and jump on her inbox. Cause that boy crazy, he hates shit now, he crazy man. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. So I just cut these onions, you know, cut the skin off them. Oh yeah, another thing I didn't tell y'all, I got my uh my crock pots on. These are my two big boss hogs. Hamilton Beach and then a big crock pot. And for my onions, I do not like to cut them too too uh small. Cause they gonna be in this crock pot for a while. So you don't want them to dissolve in. I like to, to catch one on the side of a peanut. Man, it'd be delicious. So I just rub chop them. Put that back. Oh man. Then I come back on over here and I just chop them in half. And that's going right in the crock pot. You feel me? You feel me? Can I put them in the bags, Daddy? Yep, come on. Okay. Time to dump them in. Yeah, dump them in now. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Heat, hold on, let me cut the other one up real quick so you put another one. Alright. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like my hair? I'm keeping it good. You feel me? You feel me? Y'all see the lights glowing in my eyes? The lights right here. And my face is so shiny. I have some beads on it. So Girl, they came here to look at these peanuts, not your beads. <laughs> Let them see my beautiful hair. You see the top? The top is so pretty. Alright, screw up a little bit, baby. Alrighty. Alright, so after that, I add a little scoop of butter. Yes, this is necessary. <laughs> so I get these garlic cloves. Garlic. That's already peeled. There it is. Let me turn this brightness down just a tad bit. I don't want to blind y'all folks. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Get these garlic cloves. Just put a handful down. Oh. And I'll just, you know, get a nice little rough chop. I don't want to be in your way. So I'll just take a little bit, put it in that one, take the rest, put it in another one. Go ahead. Which one? This one or that one? All right, it don't matter. All right. Well, let's do this one. All right. Put a few more in there and we Gucci. We Gucci. So then I come back <clears throat> with some smoked turkey neck. Comment down below if you like turkey necks, because I do. <laughs> Smoke ones. Smoke ones. And like I say, this is going to add seasoning. It's going to add more flavor, rich, a richer flavor. Mm -hmm. And I put them in. I kind of put like a little small layer on the bottom before I put the peanuts in there. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little layer on the bottom. I'll show you guys real quick, a quick look on what it looks like in the inside. Quick look in the inside, how them things look. And that's what we gonna do. And now just follow the same step for both parts. I'm gonna just show y'all one for real, for now. 
So we're going to add some of them. Get our spoon. You have something to say, baby? You want to tell them? Yes, I do. Dad, if you want to make this at home for your family, you can. And just watch this whole video, and this will taste real good. Because my dad is a real big chef. So, yeah. I know this look like a lot, but trust me, it's going to fit. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> Guys, they smell so good, they're not even cooked. <laughs> Make sure your hands are clean before you start. Yes. You don't want to have some dirty fingers in your food. Okay, now here go the fun part. We're going to start adding our seasonings. So we're going to come with some accent seasoning. Do not worry about how it looks now. Trust me, there's a lot of peanuts down there. Some onion powder. I know my wife told me I need to start doing the measuring, but y'all gotta just count the shakes, man. I don't really know how to measure it out. I just eyeball it. That's garlic. Two packs of the chicken bouillon, the Goya brand. Hey, this the secret, man. I'm getting it to you for free. Free game. Some black pepper. Some garlic and herb. And this one, this is going to be the spicy one. So now for the other one, we're going to stop right here at this point. But this one is going to be the spicy one. I'm going to make one spicy and one, well, one more spicy and the other one kind of spicy. Because <laughs> they both going to be spicy. But, so at this point, you guys will stop for the regular. If you guys don't like it that hot, just stop. But this is going to be the spicy. So I'm going to add just a couple shakes of the cayenne pepper. <laughs> and then also, he said that was a lot. Yeah. And then also some red chili flakes. That's that's when I like eat something like that, like pizza on that, like pizza like with that on it. Not and if I crunch it, my mouth will stop burning. Mm. I don't know why, but it will just stop burning. burning. You guys, my favorite part of the season is this is like my favorite part. Like my dad said, can't see it. You might even count. My dad, like my dad said, this is the special ingredient. This is, <laughs> I like smelling this so good, it's so bad. It smells like noodles. <laughs> you funny. It do smell Ooh. like noodles, Becky. Oh, that's so. Sad. Then, after that, we just gonna add some water. Get that seasoning down now. <laughs> so you want to get it to where you can just start seeing the water come up. You don't want to get it to the waters at the rim because it will boil over. Like I say, I've done this before and it happened to me before. So I'm trying to say you that struggle. This may be it. This is good right there. So you can start sending the water down there. All right, put the clamps. We're going to let this go for about 12, 12 to 14 hours. We're going to let it go overnight. And I'm going to be back to show you guys the final product. What's going on YouTube? We just getting back from church. And man, when I tell y'all these peanuts looking good. Let me go and show y'all real quick. So as you guys see, my wife who's over here off camera. Right there. Got on my shirt looking so good. Big and pregnant. She's so smart, she put a shirt up on the hip because like I told you guys the previous times, when I did make it, I did fill it up to the rim and it overflowed. So as you guys see, it haven't overflowed, some spillage on the side, but that's when I took the top off. But yeah, so I'm going to let y'all see the spicy ones. So these are the spicy, this is how the spicy turned out. And when I tell you it got some great, great flavor, oh my goodness. 
The smoked turkey necks are fall off the bun. Man, the onions done dissolved in there. You know, the garlic done dissolved in there. It got some nice, thick, good gravy. See that rich color? And now we're going to go over and show you guys. See, man, when I make these peanuts, they can't wait. She already trying to dig in. Wait, so we're going to go over. Well, I made a real spicy and then just a regular one. Mm -hmm. She so used then, to make both of them spicy. Yeah, but you know, as kids gonna be eating these, we actually taking this to some uh, church friends of ours. Well, they regular friends of ours too, but we met them at the church. We taking them over their house today. It's gonna be kids there, so I'm gonna take the non-spicy ones. Yeah, so this is how the non-spicy ones turned out. Still see. Nice season, not as dark as the other one because the other one is kind of spicy, but it's good. It's not too spicy. So, so that's all I got for you, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, the best peanuts you can ever taste, I promise you. Um, yeah, man, so try it out. All your dads, your, your uncles, your sons, everybody, man. We got to get in this kitchen. There's a nice little easy snack we can make for our families. Like I said, they're going to be eating on these peanuts for the next three or four days. Um, I like to. Yeah, because they go quick, uh, especially when I only have one. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Um, thank you guys for subscribing to our channels and, you know, liking and supporting us. Hope you guys stay around. Uh, There's going to be more great videos dropping. I'm back in this kitchen. Uh, yeah, tune in. If you guys haven't yet, hit that little bell. Bling, 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 bling. So you can get the notifications, you'll be the first one to know when we drop a video. Also, subscribe and please share. We are getting a, a good, consistent numbers of viewers. So I, we ask you guys just to please share the videos. Uh, you know, that's going to help us out tremendously. And uh, yeah, thank you all for the support. Drop a comment below. If y'all like this recipe and if y'all want to taste it, y'all know me. You know, man, 9-5 going to feed you. Come on through. You hear me? Be easy.